All right, guys, right to the point. Uh, what I'm doing today, changing my hand warmer on my uh, Arty Cat. Uh, it worked last year. I started it up this year. It doesn't, uh, this side doesn't get hot. The other side gets hot. The thumb warmer works. Everything's okay. So what I did, uh, Moose Utility Division right here. Uh, it's a hand warmer kit. So you get one, you get two. Uh, it's a nice kit actually if you don't have hand warmers already it already comes with the the button uh, You got the uh, low high and you're off uh, You got all the wiring to get it all set up everything, but I'm not gonna be using the switch I'm not gonna be using anything I'm gonna be hooking this right into my uh, factory uh, Switch so you have three wires here. So what I did uh, I got this I got some uh, shrink wrap tube. I got my uh, my uh, soldering paste, some uh, some solder, black tape, uh, everything to take it apart. This here, that's going to be used to take the the, the grip off. Uh, nice thing about these two guys is uh, the back. You peel this off, stick it on, and uh, yeah, just run your wires out. And uh, anyway, so that's that. Uh, I gotta. Oh yeah, and you need a a wire tester to make sure you. Uh, you have all the proper ones. I'm not sure inside that. Maybe I might be lucky and it might be blue, red, and white inside mine. I doubt it though. But let's check it out. So first things first, let's get that hand grip off. Alright guys, so uh, you want to get a hand grip off of anything at all. Uh, Four-wheeler, uh, dirt bike, snowmobile, the bicycle, anything at all. Um, what I always use is uh, hook your air compressor up. And you got a hole in the end of your uh, your grip right here. Stick that in the hole, it's going to blow this up, and usually they pull right off. There you go, that's really, really easy. To do, to get your, uh, your, your throttle lever off, you're going to have this little washer under here. So be careful with this guys, uh, you just grab a flat screwdriver and work, keep working it all the way around. So to show you what that clip is, here's the clip. Um, what I usually do with these, as you can see, uh, this side's up and the other side down. But anyway, I'm going to push that other side, uh, this side right here. I'm going to push that up the same as this side. And then you take this you turn it upside down and push it upwards. Now, uh, so the first pin, push up. And you pull this out. So you pull that out. I'm going to try to do this in one hand. I really don't want to lose that because usually it falls out of the bottom. And there it is. And there's your second pin. So we're going to put that there. Now your throttle. All it is is a, a wire in there. You just pull that. It's really hard to do in one hand. There we go. So that's off. That's hanging there. Next thing to do is inside here, they got some uh, torque screws. So these torque screws, there we go, T15. But anyway, I'm going to be taking those screws out and uh, let's see what's in there. All right, guys, I got the screws out inside here now. Now you're going to follow these wires right here. And these wires are underneath this cap. So you got to take that torque screw out. And underneath this cap, that's where the plug is going to be for this uh, hand warmer. Now, when you go to unhook this, you get that uh, little white cap off I just showed you. All these wires are all going to fall out of place. Just make sure you remember where they all go. Like these, this this one that my thumb's on fits beside this one. Uh, this wire right here goes down, fits beside this one. They all, they're all kind of compacted in there. So just kind of keep an eye on where they all go, guys. Uh, and as we can see right now, I got three wires. But... They're not the same color as my other ones I have, the new hand warmer. So, what we're going to have to do, I might have to fire up the sled, and uh, I'm going to have to see which ones. Uh, so, you're going to have a negative, wherever the negative would be, and you're going to have a low, and you're going to have a high. That's the way I'm thinking it should work. Or, anyway, we're going to figure that out in just a minute. All right, so... Once you get it all off, everything's off, I got everything all cleaned up. 
nice and clean, nice and shiny. Uh, what I did, I put a piece of masking tape here. So what this was, was this, this was the very end right here of my factory uh, hand warmer. That was the end. So that's as far as my grip goes. And then my other machine goes on here. So it's a good idea to put something here to show you where you're, uh, where you're going to put your new one. <clears throat> All right, guys. So one thing, uh, don't forget to uh, save your old plug-in. So just cut it off your uh, factory uh, uh, hand warmer and save this because I'm going to be putting this onto these wires. So, <clears throat> so with this new hand warmer, as you can see right here, uh, the blue goes to the high white goes to low and red is your off so with this sled here i don't have any uh any battery in this so what i have to do i'm gonna have to fire up the skidoo and i'm gonna have to test each one of these pins okay so for this sled here guys it's a 2018 already cat uh m8000 uh probably some other like uh probably a lot of the other sleds with the same uh the, the, the same setup here, like the controls are going to be the same thing. So this is the way I have this hooked up. I have my red, and this runs down into a black. The blue runs into the green and the white. And my white runs into this green and blue. So, what that means, uh, the blue and the white, if you go up here, the blue and the white, so the blue is the high, the white is the low. So the blue is the high, so the white and the green is the high, the blue and the green is the low. There you go. So... My next step, uh, you can see I already got this on. I put some tape here and I put some tape here, right on both ends of it. That way there, when I push the grip on, it doesn't catch on anything. And right there, it's just to secure the wire so that they they don't, uh, nothing gets pulled on or whatever. It keeps them a little bit better. So anyway, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this wire off whatever length I need it. And uh, I'm gonna solder these on, put some uh, shrink tubing over them and uh, start putting everything back together. All right guys, so here it is i got everything uh soldered and uh, uh shrink wrapped uh the only thing i went a little bit too hot with this one right here so i'm going to just add a little piece of black tape to this one and then i might put a piece of black tape all the way around just to hold all these guys all together then uh, i'm going to put this back together and i got my temperature done right here and uh we're going to uh, do a test. So, I have it all back together. Here we go. Uh, where am I here? Let's see. All right. Hand grip time. Time to put this back on. I'm going to show you how to put it back on. Same exact way that you took it off. You're going to take your air hose. You're going to hook it up. guys all back together all nice and neat uh you're gonna notice with the uh a different one you're gonna have a couple little bubbles here on your handlebars but anyway it is what it is uh right now i have zero heat uh let's put this on high and see what it does let's get some uh, rpm going through it to get it warmed up a little bit just gonna show you that it works 15, 18, 19 already. 